Okay, so I am going to show you all how to get your mitochondrial or MT DNA haplogroup from Ancestry because they don't exactly provide it. Okay, so, and you can use this for several other things, which is why I'm showing you this. Okay, so what you're going to do is go to your uh, DNA Ancestry main page and then scroll to the very, very bottom right here. And down here at the very bottom, or almost very bottom in the gray bar, you will see your Y-DNA and MT-DNA test results. Now, obviously, I don't have Y-DNA, so I have no experience with this. So I will not be doing a Y-DNA tutorial. There are um, websites where you can find that out. Just Google it and go from there. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I have no experience with Y-DNA, so I don't know very much about it. So here you can you can download results or view principal report. Um, we are going to download results and we'll click on that. And then you'll reach, I've already done this. So you will retrieve your file and then <clears throat> and have that ready. And then you're going to go to <clears throat> this website here. It's the James Lick, um, I guess, mitochondrial haplogroup or haplotype, yeah, haplogroup map. And then, so you're going to take your file. So mine is, let me find it here. Th this is what mine looks like. Yours should look something like this. So to uh, get your file ready, you'll have to adjust it a bit. So you have to delete that and get rid of the little commas like this and just put in spaces so that, and just keep doing that until you get something that looks like this right here and then you will resave it and upload so it should look something like this excited that okay so then you upload it here choose file and then upload and you wait a little bit and mine it looks like this so right here you have some, like the different mutations and whatnot and for me, it says best mtDNA haplogroup matches. Number one is H7A1, which I have also confirmed with uh, 23andMe. So this one, the, the first one you'll get is probably going to be the correct one. And then you can, like, go on Google or whatever and look things up. So we'll go here. Let's look up something for haplogroup H7A1 see what we get and you can find different things like European Roma and people and you can like connect with relatives and whatnot some things you can like some half the groups have more information than others because like, some are just more common so let's try so, click this and in this website here I'm not gonna read it obviously but Apparently, my haplogroup group is, is very common amongst the Romani population. So, I mean, I don't know of any Romani ancestors or relatives, but apparently we're somehow related. Okay, X2D. Let's try. I saw that one there. So, let's try haplogroup group X2D. I don't know what that is, but let's find out. Half group X. And you can also look up haplogroup group, whatever, on Wikipedia and whatnot. And some have videos, apparently. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and also, in uh, Ancestry, you can learn a little bit in the View Printable Report. This is what the Printable Report looks like. And apparently, I actually... No, I, okay, it's going to do this. You have to click that. Yeah, this is why you don't do the Printable, re printable Report for the, uh, DN for the James Lick site, because... You'd have to type it in anyway. So this just tells me that I'm half of group H. Well, I already know that I'm H7A1, which is a branch from this group. So it's a little vague or broad, whichever. So yeah, if you're H, you'll, yours will look like this too. But if it's something else, you'll get other information. So yeah, hope that helped. And I'll see you all later. I can just stop.